I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Command of Journey Island in California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. Hey, Shalom, D.C. We're the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. We started out at 1 West 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under the command of Jenny Ahan, you understand? We're not affiliated with any Israelite group on the face of the earth, any Christian organization, any group that's not down with the Most High, you understand? We're not affiliated with it. You understand what I'm saying? Since 1969, we done claimed our identity. This Bible, we done opened up this Bible, dusted it all, and we done found out that our identity is right here in this Bible. For our entire life, for the past 400 years, we done wondered who the hell we are in America. Everybody else got a homeland except, except blacks, natives, and Hispanics. And the homeland is told that that is ours is a whole lot. You understand? In the ISUBK, we claim our identity. And we unapologetic as, as can be with it. You understand? When we say that we the real Jews that the Bible speaks of, we absolutely mean it. We say blacks, natives, and Hispanics. We identify that blacks, natives, and Hispanics are the chosen people of the Most High. We identify that the God of this Bible is our Father. You understand? We identify that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. You understand? We claim our identity up in here. That's you understand? In this Bible, it simply tells us who the Lord's chosen people is. It tells us who the Lord cares about. That brother was just dropping in heavy that the Lord says to these other nations, they ain't nothing but a bunch of spit. They ain't nothing. You understand? And he told us our identity, man. Israel, Yasha Allah, Prince of the Power, man. You understand? Jacob had to wrestle with an angel. Go toe to toe with an angel and break a big old bone in his leg to get our name, man. We claim our identity, man. You understand what I'm saying? We claim our identity. Give me Deuteronomy 14 and 2. We're going to drop it heavy, man. You understand? We're the Israelite school of UPK. And we're going to claim our identity and we're going to be unapologetic for it. You understand? We done claimed our identity, we done found out who it is we are, and that done led on to a couple celebrities hearing that same thing. You hear an Ice Cube say, you understand, that we the Jews that the Bible speaks of. You hear Nick Cannon, a couple brothers coming out saying, you know what, we are the Jews. The problem is, the ones that decided to step up and say something, they became unapologetic. You understand? They started kissing the boots of our oppressor that turned around and said, hey, nah, this ain't for y'all. You understand, the Bible ain't for y'all, this is not y'all identity, this is our identity. And in a minute, you understand, Nick Cannon and other celebrities that try to step up to the plate to hold this truth, they simply just switched off. In one swoop, that rabbi, that Jewish man, knocked Nick Cannon's whole belief of God right out of him. With one swoop, with one blow, Nick Cannon was like, man, what do you tweet? He said, man, y'all can have this planet, I'm out, I'm done. Black people turned on me, black people turned on me. When you realizing the people that took your identity are the ones that turned on you. You, are, you realize that the one that took your career, took your TV channels, took your money, took everything that made you a, a nice American, they didn't turn their back on you. They didn't show no love towards you. Terry Crews gonna turn around and say, I never was scared of the KKK. I was always scared of men like you, referring to Nick Cannon. That's what Terry Crews, all homosexual behind said. He not worried about a white man coming up behind him and groping him. He not worried about that. But he's worried about another black man claiming his identity. And the black community did not turn on Nick Cannon. Yet Nick, the black community, let me tell you what it was. The black community was not ashamed of Nick Cannon. The black community was simply ashamed of the simple fact that he, that he turned down, that he stood down, that, that he apologized. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the whole issue. It wasn't the fact that he said that we God's chosen people or that we the Jews of the Bible. 
That's not the fact. It's the fact that he became un that he became apologetic. That he apologized to our oppressor. And he became a coward. That is something you cannot be if you're going to decide to stand with this truth. You cannot be a coward. That is one of our main things. If you're a brother that's not a coward, you understand? You ain't got no excuses. You grab your flyer. And you learn how to not be apologetic for claiming your identity. You learn how to not say sorry for saying that you're a Jew. The ones that was put in slavery. The ones that was hung. The ones that was set on fire. The ones that got their babies stripped from them. The ones that is locked up in the prison system. But yet we're going to be apologetic for saying that we the Jews the Bible speaks of? You out your goddamn mind. We went through that. That's our history. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't being apologetic about nothing. They enslaved us for 400 years. The Jews, we're going to enslave them for 400 years. So says the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? And that's our identity, man. You got that scripture? Read it. Book of Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou art a holy people. For thou art a holy people, man. We are separate people, man, according to God. We God's people. Now how you like that, America? Now how you like that, oppressor? You want to push your wicked behind messages. You understand on us? You want to take over our neighborhoods. You understand? You want to gentrify our neighborhoods. You want to take our schools. You want to lock us up. You want to kill us. You want to take our children from us. You want to starve us. Right? But this Bible say that we God's chosen people, that we is holy people, man. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto what? The Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God, man. That's our identity. Black, native, and Hispanic, you understand? You young brothers and sisters, if y'all know a Latino or Hispanic, little eight-year-old, you tell him that God cares about him. You understand? You a brother that's working two, three jobs, you tell the other brother that's stressing that God loves him. You understand? They don't care about these other nations. Your Christian pastor not gonna tell you that. He tell you to stand, stand, go, go march in some march and talk about equality next to the same person you're not equal to. And you tell me if that makes sense. Read. And the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people. Hey, thank you, brother. Grab yourself a fly, man. You're gonna need that for sure. Read it one more time. And the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people. Y'all know what peculiar mean? That's a special people, man. You right, brother. That's a special people. The Lord that chose black slaves and Hispanics to be a special people. Now close the Bible and tell me that that ain't true. Close the Bible and tell me that we're not the most talented people on the face of this earth. Look in the history books and see if we ain't built every nation across this earth. Look in the history books. Any kingdom that was ever great had blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians in slavery. If you don't believe me, how can any kingdom get the builders that they got? Because of the Hispanic brothers, because of the black brothers. How did they learn how to hunt? Because of the Native American Indian brothers. How did they learn how to do anything? From the Israelites, from the chosen people of God. You understand that white people gain their knowledge from thievery, from stealing everything, from murdering everything. That's their nature. We can't fight that. We can't no longer say they're not all the same. How you gonna sit here and say that? When every single one, I guess I must not know the ones that you know. Because the ones that I know, they taking us away. The ones that I know locking us up. The ones that I know, the ones that these brothers know, know the identity of our oppressor. So not only do we know our identity, but we also know the identity of these other nations. And that's one thing that black leaders has failed to tell us. Unto himself, above all the nations that are upon the earth. Above what? All the nations upon the earth. Who is this the identity of? It's the identity of us. It's the identity of black states and Hispanics. That we are the chosen people above all nations of the earth. Read that last part one more time. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. No, above some of the nations. Upon the earth. Upon the Chinese. Upon the earth. Japanese. Upon the earth. The African. Upon the earth, the Arab. Upon the earth, he said. Above all nations, black natives and Hispanics are the best. Black natives and Hispanics are his chosen. Black natives and Hispanics have the identity of his children. That's what God said. Y'all don't like what I'm saying. We just read it out of the Bible. The problem that we have with the Bible—that's the scripture. And the problem that we have with the Bible, if we don't care about this Bible, we will never know what's inside of it. If we will not know what's inside of it, we won't know what God told us to do. And if we don't know what God told us to do, we're going to end up going into Egypt again with ships. 
we're going to end up being oppressed just like we are because we've been taught in America not to know that we are the chosen people of the Most High. We've been taught in America to know that, hey, listen, black man, you're a gangster. What Hillary Clinton say? He said, you're, we, black people are super predators. In America, we've been taught to hate each other. While our leaders say love everyone, we give our love to everybody else except ourselves. We love and be so apologetic. Some devil walk across here, some white man step on your shoe. You're gonna be, oh, no, that's okay, it's okay. Let it be a brother, you are ready to swing. Let it be a brother that step on your Timbs, it's over. Do you understand what I'm saying? We've been taught to hate each other and give our love everywhere else but at home. But where it need to be. How many houses is the black man not in there no more? How many houses is the sister out there thawing around, doing whatever? Because what? Because we don't know the importance of having our identity, man. Drop that. Give me, um, give me the apocrypha. I got you, brother. Give me the apocrypha. Give me Ecclesiastes 9 and 15. We're gonna get some more, man. It's, a, it's an issue if we say that black people are the Jews that the Bible speaks of. We hold up to identity, you gotta be careful saying them special words, man. Cause them words hit a nerve in our oppressor like nothing else. You see them freak out and do, you know, some eight town stump or whatever it is. You see them freak out the moment you say black people are all the real Jews of the Bible. You wear a cross, ain't nobody gonna say nothing to you. You wear a little weed necklace around your neck, ain't nobody gonna say nothing to you. You wear a, a, a unk or something like that around your neck, nobody's gonna say anything to you. But the moment you put on the shield of David, it's a whole issue. If, if we're not the true Jews, why does the media tearing apart Deshaun Jackson? Why, is, why did Deshaun Jackson lose a paycheck? Why did Nick Cannon lose a, chan, uh, lose a TV show if we're not the Jews that the Bible speaks of? Why? Why did the books that was $20 back in the day, why, that said that black people are the Jews, why are all them books $5,000 now? You tell me that. But we not the Jews that the Bible speaks of? You got that scripture? Uh, we in the pocket for Ecclesiastes 9 and 15. And this, all of this is coming out of the Bible. We just speaking it. And, what, and what, what the brother bringing out is totally heavy. Like, think about it. Nick Cannon for a long time been trying to, try, try to become more strong in knowledge. And he been bringing out a, he been bringing out a lot of black talk. But, to, but his last podcast, when he, when, he talk, when he talked about black people being the Jews, and when he, when he brought out the truth about white people, about them being animals, the Jewish people took away his TV show. Deshaun, last year, the, 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 the brother that was playing for the Eagles, Deshaun Jackson, two week, two week, a week before Nick Cannon said the Jews are black, Deshaun Jackson said the Jews are black. And they, and they, they try to get rid of, they try to fire him also. When you, when you start to tell the truth, that's when you're gonna lose your job. And guess what, black man? It should be no problem if you, lo if you lose a white contract. It only makes sense. The white man wants a black man to stay sleeping in America, man. The white man wants a black man to stay a slave. So when you, so when you, so when you, have, when you have a big platform and you start telling the truth, they're gonna take you off that platform. They're gonna make you seem like, make you seem like a, uh, like you did wrong and like a thug. Guess what, the, 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 the thing to save that, if Nick Cannon lost, lost his wild and out from Viacom, he should have went over, there, went over there to a black network and he'll be fine. Like Pete Diddy, who, Pete Diddy, he was a billionaire. Pete Diddy said, come on over to Revolt TV. Puff, Puff Daddy has a TV has a, 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 a TV network station and said, Nick, bring wild, come on home. Bring, bring um, wild and out to Revolt TV. That's how you do it. He should say, damn CBS, and go get a black and go get a black network. Uh, uh, join a black network. That's how you do it. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Keep on bringing out. You dropping it. Go ahead. Y'all get that priest of pop in the hand, man. He dropping it absolutely heavy, man. He came in and made a valuable point, man. Let me tell y'all something. It's a double-edged sword. You want to know why it's a double-edged sword? Because on one hand, you being torn apart for saying that you guys children. On one hand, you being torn apart, your job is being taken care, uh, taken away from you. You understand, you're hated for saying that you are the Jews that the Bible speaks of. And then the other edge of the sword is, we absolutely hate hearing that we special. Because for so long, we have become accustomed to believing that we ain't nothing. For so long, black women been telling the brothers, you ain't nothing. For so long, brothers been leaving the sisters. For so long, we done became you know, custom to just not being nothing. So while we got all the talent in the world, we hate being told that we chosen. 
We hate being told that. And that is why every brother that is black according to their blood, and we say it black, black is a color, but we're only saying that because that is what it's known as. That's the terminology that is used. Black natives and Hispanics. You understand? In other words, the 12 tribes of Israel. Do you understand what I'm saying? But the, the other thing is this. Every brother runs to being every religion that they have no business being in. Right. Because we have been taught to hate that being black is terrible. That being Hispanic is terrible. That being a wetback is terrible. That being a spit is terrible. But according to God, we not terrible. According to God, we special to him. And every other nation is a spit. Is a is a is a is a is a bunch of spit, man. That's what God said. Y'all have to like what I'm saying. And here's the issue that Nick Cannon had, man. Here's the issue that Nick Cannon had, because he had he 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 got a glimpse of his identity, right? But he didn't want to keep fast to that identity. As soon as the oppressor said nah, as soon as the oppressor said nah, he went straight to kissing that oppressor's boots in the spirit, man. And the problem that Nick Cannon had, he believed that he had freedom of speech, right? Nick Cannon believed he had a freedom of speech. And when he tried to use that freedom, America says what? You can choose whatever religion you want to be. You can believe in whatever you want to believe in. Nick Cannon took that and said, you know what? Okay, then, I'm an Israelite, right? And the media tore him apart. The media tore him apart, and that Jewish man went back and checked him on, on national TV. They took his money, and he got scared. The boy wet his pampers, man. And he could not sacrifice. That's an issue. But he believed that he had freedom of speech. And black people believing in freedom of speech in this world is something that does not make sense. When you're in the classroom, you have a decorum that you got to keep. When you're in the business office, you got a decorum you got to keep. When you're in anywhere, you have a decorum that you have to keep. But America says that black people, you have a freedom of speech. You understand? Our oppressor doesn't execute freedom of speech because their freedom of speech is always heard. Why do they have to be told freedom of speech when their speech is always heard? So it ain't nothing but regular talk. But black people are told freedom of speech, right? That's what black people are told. And we took that and look what some of our celebrities did. Look what the media, look what America has done to them. Look at the memes that have been put out of our black leaders. The leaders that our little children look at, now the memes look at them as crying. Boo boo. Boog is coming out of their nose. This is what America does to you, man. And black leaders chose money over black lives, and that's the truth. Right. You gotta understand that that's the truth. The leaders that is put up in front of us, that's the truth. They chose that money over sacrificing their platform for the conditions of black leaders and Hispanics. Right. Not even in the Bible do you have freedom of speech, man. But the men back here, man, we not gonna sacrifice money over the lives of our brothers and sisters, over the lives of black natives and Hispanics. You on this board, you believe you better believe that we out here for you, man. You better believe that we give a damn about you. But not even in the Bible do you have freedom of speech, man. You can't just say whatever you want. The Lord said that maybe we special. We got a language that we speak. We got a way about ourselves that we speak. You got that? Ecclesiastes 9 and 15. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 15. Let thy talk be with the wise, and all thy communications is the law of the Most High. You understand? Read that one more time. Let thy talk be with the wise, and all thy communications be in the law. That don't sound like freedom of speech to me. The scripture said, let thy talk, you understand, be with the wise. You understand? Every word that come out of your mouth, you understand, it better be in accordance to this law. It better be in the spirit of brotherhood. You gonna let this know it's class, man. You understand? That's what the scriptures say. So there ain't no freedom of speech over here either. God has a certain way that's supposed to come out of your out of your words, man. How we speaking right now ain't nothing but brotherhood, man. You understand me? How we speaking right now ain't nothing but brotherhood. Ain't nothing but the law. Ain't nothing about, ain't nothing uh, but brotherhood and caring about the condition of black citizens and Hispanics. That's our communication. But America says what? America says freedom of speech. So when you try to claim your identity, you, you can seem evil for doing so. So hold on. Our oppressor can say that they're the chosen people of the Bible and nothing happened to them. But if we say it, we lose everything. If we say it, our houses and our, houses and our cars and everything is on the line. When we say it, our livelihood is on the line. When we claim back our identity. And this is how hypocritical our oppressor is. Even your history books say that black people are the chosen people. Even your history books say that Hispanics and American Indians are the chosen people. Even in your own books. 
But in the 50s, y'all want to change things around. But then y'all want to try to repay what you already done repaid. Ain't that something? Listen, an animal is only going to be an animal, man. I need you to understand that. Drop that. Give me. You can take me back to the Bible, man. Take me back to the Bible. Give me Matthew. I ain't throwing drinks. Give me Matthew uh, 12 and 16. Uh, 12 and 36. You understand? It's the reason why you can't just sit back and say you got that you uh you understand got freedom of speech and just say whatever you, the hell you want to say, man. It's a reason for that because I'm gonna tell you what: when that time comes, you have to answer for every word that come out of your goddamn mouth. You understand me? And when the time comes, you gonna have to speak up for every word that come out of your mouth. When you claim to be uh, this religion and that religion, you gonna have to speak up for that. When you talk about black ladies and Hispanics, you gonna have to speak up for that. You understand? Every word that come out of your mouth, you're going to have to speak up for it. But also get this. It goes backwards the other way too. When you claim your identity, you understand? You're going to take care of that too. You're going to claim that too. You're going to stand up and you're going to say to the Lord, yes, I did claim my identity. I did claim being an Israelite. I did claim being your child. I was not rebellious. You're going to claim them words too. You understand? Read. <laughs> Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword. With